All right, so this is gonna be the uh, Spool Performance Stage 2 fuel pump install. We're gonna go ahead and dive right into it. So the first thing that needs to be done on the uh, coupe models, all you have to do is pull upwards on the seat and it'll pop right off. We already did that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this right on out. And it is just uh, two plastic retaining clips. All right, next we're gonna pull back the carpeting and then start by removing these four nuts right here. All right, so once the four 10 millimeter nuts are removed, we can go ahead and pry up the uh, this cap right here. And then there's uh, two clips, they're just pinch and pull. So one, two. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and start removing these lines right here. And then uh, this is a uh, pull out clip, but a trick to getting it off is if you push in slightly and pull up, it will come right out. And then the same with this one right here. Just push in tab right here, and then right out. So then next we're gonna take the uh, spool performance fuel cap removal tool, and go ahead and wedge it in the grooves right here. And then use a socket, ratchet, excuse me, go ahead and take it off. All right, so now that that's out of the way, we can go ahead and pull the whole assembly out of the tank. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this in there, and then this will just pull right out. All right, so with it partially pulled out, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this clip like I did on, on the top, and then it's just gonna be the same process. I'm gonna use two, two screwdrivers, one to kind of add le leverage right here, and then the other to push the back of the clip. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and cut this little plastic line that holds the top hat onto the bottom bucket part. So we're just gonna cut that. And the next thing to do is gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and remove these two clips from the top of the assembly. So screwdriver in, push on the clip, and then pull out. And then the same with this one right here. Push on the clip and pull out. Okay, so now the top hat's removed, we can go ahead and put that on the side. Now there's um, there's some lines that jump over to the other side of the fuel tank. We're gonna go ahead and lift those upwards off of the plastic tabs, and then pinch and pull the line that goes to the top of the fuel pump. And it's just a little green tab, so we're gonna push that down and pull up. All right, and then here's the lighter colored line I just pulled up, and then there's a black line I'm gonna pull up as well and all these are disconnected now. So now the uh, the bucket is free to be pulled up and out of the tank. All right. All right, so we are gonna be retaining the uh, factory float along with the wiring. So we're gonna go ahead and unfish it from the little hooks that hold it together. Um, looks like there's a total of three of them. And they're gonna go ahead and remove the float by pushing it forward and then pulling it straight out. And then now we can transfer this to our spool performance stage two setup just by sliding the back in. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect the line to the top of the fuel pump and then start the uh, top of the hat assembly by connecting the electrical connections on there. I think I'm just going to go ahead and rest the float in there. Clips in like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect these to the top of the hat. Okay, so now with everything connected, we can go ahead and slide this right into the bracket and then go ahead and reset the fuel pump in the tank.
All right, so now everything's connected back to the bottom. We can go ahead and slide this in. There's a groove that it does slide into. So it's actually on this side right here. We're gonna go ahead and slide it. The paper towels that I put here. Okay, so we're gonna slide the groove into the appropriate spot. Be sure to check your gasket. If it needs replacing, I would go ahead and replace it. This one's in good condition, so we're not gonna replace it. All right guys, that is it for the stage two fuel pump install. I will put a link in the description as well as one of those, I guess, eye boxes in the corner of the video. If you guys are interested in getting a spool performance fuel pump, click on the link in the description or the info link above. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching.